On the 18th of May 2024 at Centenary Hall Hibito Hotel in Abuja, the International Association for Strategy Professionals Nigeria held their annual conference and AGM. The topic of the event was understanding strategic management tools and techniques for transformation. In attendance were professionals from various walks of life, including Dr. Mrs. Luatoy Medine, the Accountant General of the Federation, and Air Vice Marshal Ishak Abdulrahman Barlugun retired, the coordinator of learning. This important gathering brought together the brightest minds in the field of strategic management, providing a platform for the exchange of ideas, the exploration of new techniques, conferment of fellow uneligible members, and induction of new members. Rear Admiral Elkana Oyeleye Jeyola MNI is a dedicated and high-performing intelligence practitioner and also security expert with over 35 years of professional and outstanding results in the Nigerian Navy. He is a member of a prestigious Institute of Strategic Studies, NIPS, Kuru. He is currently the principal consultant of Wiwi Cubes Limited, Lagos, Nigeria. A specialized intelligence and security training and consultancy outfit. Rear Admiral Elkana, I guess, is married to a woman and the marriage is blessed with children. Thank you very much. Trust analysis is not just about listing strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, but how do you align, how do you convert all this to achieve the objective yes i have strength in these areas i have strength you are so maybe for for the organization you have uh, analyzed all the strengths oh they, are, they have enough money they have a uh, quality personnel the environment is uh, quite working for the organization so many strengths likewise stony weaknesses because while doing the analysis, you cannot just be utopia in everything. You must know that there are certain areas that may not be working well. Because if you assume, oh, because I have this friend, you are not looking at the other side. With time, the weaknesses will be they will grow stronger and they will catch up with the whatever strength that you have. first question I think is pertinent is what is the current strategy we are using if you don't identify the current strategy you are using adding to it may mean nothing then what assumptions did we make for the current strategy to be viable there are assumptions we have to make the prof alluded to so many I mean we had a comparison between other countries and Nigeria it's important that we come up with assumptions the peculiarity of our nation in making sure the strategy worked. It's not enough to just pick a strategy that worked in Dangote and you want to bring it to your office. You must make some assumptions and see how you can stream that. Then what is happening in the industry with your competitors or generally? And that's where the environmental scanning comes up. In executing whatever strategy, there are key steps we must factor in. It is not enough for me to have a strategy I cannot communicate. So it's important that we must make effort in communicating this strategy. At every level you are, it behoves on you to be able to understand the strategy in terms of the goals, the objectives, and the mission. I mean, being, uh, being able to relate it to all the stakeholders. You have desired competitive advantage to defeat your enemy, deter them, or coerce them to what you want them to do. You must create some competitive advantage. If you are in an office and you want to, there's only one slot for directorship and you want to take it, you must create some values that will skew the situation 
for your consideration. And that is what competitive advantage is. So whether you are the military, you strategize from the military perspective, you do from this, it comes to competitive advantage. You must seek. And it's when you seek to initiate a competitive advantage, that is the time you start thinking about value. Okay, we are five here. I want to be so, so, so person. Why can't I go and take an extra uh, degree? Why can't I? Do you see, you want to create values. When you think about strategic uh, uh, advantage, you are now thinking about value. Without value, you cannot be competitive. So he was trying to he emphasize so much on uh, competitive advantage. And about tools, the topic is you must understand tools. If you are strategizing and you have not thought about tools, you are uh, witchcrafting. You are not strategizing. Tools form the basis of strategy. One of the things I've also noticed is that where we have a situation where the pest factors are changing fast, you know, pest factors are changing very fast, things are changing so fast. Politically changing fast, economics is changing fast. It means that strategies is two ways. You have deliberate strategy and you have emergent strategy. Now, a situation where the pest factors are changing very fast, it's advisable that you need to also employ more of emergent strategy. That's what the tech companies are doing. Apple, Microsoft, they employ more of emergent strategy. That means every day they are reviewing. The banking sector also do a lot of that. What they do is that they, every month they have strategy sessions to review performance. So that helps them to make sure that they don't have uncertainty. They know what is going to come and then they make sure that that. So it's possible, but it requires a lot of work to be able to make that happen because if you have people who are yesterday men in your organization, they will not allow you to succeed because they always tell you, oh, this is not the way we do things. But if there are people who are fought, you know, forthright, forward-looking people in organization with innovative practices, I think it's easy to achieve. I take time to study Nigerians, youth especially, and I came to the conclusion that Nigerians are, they are, they are moving away from concentrating on government or what government can do. The average Nigerian wakes up and just tells himself or herself, how do I succeed? In spite of government policies, government programs, many don't even bother, many Nigerians don't bother about what government is doing. They just want to go into the world and succeed. And we are succeeding across the world. But now, why is strategy not working well in government programs? In my organization, we have an office called the Strategic Management Office. And sitting in that office is the Change Management Office. Because at times, some strategy is a total change in paradigm. And especially when you have a culture that eats strategy, then when you deploy a strategy that is overwhelming, then you need, you need a good and effective, poignant um, change management function to ensure that that, um, that strategy is well option, operationalized and is effective. So I just want to uh, add that when strategy is being deployed, think about how to bring about an effective change management structure so that the, the, the culture will not kill the strategy and the strategy will actually survive. Strategies are there, but how do they work? And how we, we, we are strategies because we are here in Nigeria and good number of us are in a public sector. How do we now go out there and see that these strategies that we are working on, oh, we can do it better this way, or we can do it, we monitor the implementation, we monitor how it is adding value, we monitor that it is achieving the goals that are being made to achieve. These are the tasks that we have in our hand as strategies. As not only those that work in public sector, even from private sector, you can come in. We have so many private sector organizations, individuals that come into government to assist in how to make strategy 
work. The development strategy, production of public goods, is either from the IMF strategy, I mean a perspective, or World Bank perspectives. There are strategic for taxation in the, 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 the there are strategies for economy, economic growth. The theories are there. Uh, the the greatest uh, economist, what's his name? Uh, Adam Smith. He brought out theories. Up to tomorrow, we are using the theories. Keynes came in, brought theories. All these are strategies. We are still using them. It's my utmost pleasure to be here today on this auspicious occasion to witness the induction and vestures, vestures of new members into the Nigerian chapter of the International Association for Strategy Professionals. This event marks a significant milestone in the growth and development of the strategic management profession in Nigeria. I believe that you have shown some level of commitment in your various career before now. And that, I believe, we continue to come to bear, even as we join this association. Your commitment to excellence and dedication to the field of strategy is truly commendable. Today, you have been singled out among various interests and group of applicants to become members of a prestigious organization, but also you are in a journey of continuous learning and professional growth and development. of do solemnly pledge that I will uphold the constitution principles traditions and philosophies of the International Association for Strategy Professionals IASP Nigeria and to promote the objectives of IASP Nigeria that I will obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities and that I will bear true and faithful allegiance to the association. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Of do solemnly pledge that I will uphold the constitution, principles, tradition, and philosophies of the International Association for Strategy Professionals IASP Nigeria and to promote the objectives of the IASP. 
Nigeria that I will obey legal orders of the duly constituted authorities and that I will bear true and faithful allegiance to the association. So help me God. DCP Ahmed Latif Adio is the head of Lagos State Criminal Investigation Department. Prior to his recent assignment, he was the police operations and FPU coordinator for the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, ACMIS. He was also a zonal head of operations and led cybercrime investigator with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. EFCC. DCP Ahmed Latif Adio has attended various courses slash trainings both at home and abroad. He is a highly motivated analytical and professional scholar practitioner with a very strong background in various aspects of policing. Join me with a round of applause as we confer the Deputy Commissioner of Police Ahmed Latif Adio with fellow of IASB Nigeria. Lanre Ogunlowo is a commissioner of police, special intervention squad, SIS. He is knowledge driven, team player with extensive training and experience in police duties, focusing on positive output and task accomplishment. He has a double master's degree in legal, criminology, and security psychology from University of Ibadan and criminal justice. He has worked in environment of diversity and due diligence during his service with the United Nations in Kosovo from 2000 to 2002 in Liberia 2004 to 2005 and 2007 to and to 2008 and as police chief of staff with African Union transition mission in Somalia in 2023 CP Lanre Ogunlowo has many publications to his name join me with a round of applause as we confer fellow of IASP Nigeria on CP Lanre Ogunlowo Professor Yakubo Aboki Ochefu is an academic, university administrator, and an entrepreneur. He trained as a professional historian at the University of Calabar and Birmingham, United Kingdom. From 2012 to 2017, he served as vice chancellor of Kwararafa University, Wukari, in Taraba State. He has since 2019 been serving as the General Secretary of the Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigeria University and Committee of Pro Chancellors of Nigerian Federal Universities. <laughs> he has been a team leader for the development and transaction of transaction portals for institutions of higher learning in Nigeria, Liberia, Ghana, and Uganda. A round of applause for that. He is currently the team leader of the National Academic Research Repository Project based here in Abuja. Join me to welcome Professor Ochefu. <music> Ohifemi Ejimaya is the founder and principal partner of When Right Security Consult. He had an illustrious military career that spanned over 30 years and rose to the rank of Major General. He is a member of Security Institute of London and Nigeria Institute of Management. He is a certified protection professional, CPP. He is currently a lead consultant with the International Center for Migration and Policy Development, consultant to World Bank and a subject matter expert 
in vertical integrated logistic approach project in the armed forces of Nigeria on capabilities, base planning, material readiness, and air ground integration. He is married with children. Join me with a round of applause to welcome Major General Uhefemi Ejemaya, retired. Group Captain George James Apochi was born on the 22nd of November 1976 in Kaduna, obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting and a Master's in Business Administration from the prestigious Hamedubelo University Zaria in 1999 and 2004 respectively. He is also a member Nigerian Institute of Management Chartered. His hobbies include playing tennis and listening to music. Join me to welcome Group Captain George Apoche.